down element in WeWeb, you, which you can find in the Add Elements menu here, um, you can either hard code the options or you can bind the drop down menu to a collection. In our case, we're going to bind it to uh, a list of car rental locations. And once you've done this, you can uh, select the fields you want to display, so in our case uh, the location name, and also the value fields you want to um, you want to retain in uh, your variable, because this creates a variable here automatically. When you drop down the drop down element, it automatically creates a variable. So then in the table element, um, a table element which you can also find in your add elements section. Uh, you can bind your collection instead of binding it to an entire collection, which is here our fleet data. What we can do is we can filter the data from, um, from that collection. We'll filter it by key. Uh, so the first element will be, uh, the, the first argument, sorry, will be the fleet data. So we want to go and get uh, the the fleet data and the name of the field we want to filter by is the location name. Uh, so we'll just call it location. And the value we want to filter it by is the value from our variable. So the variable from our drop down component, in this case uh, JFK Airport. And let's go and preview. If we preview here JFK Airport or Greenwich Village, it will change the data from our collection. And that's how the drop-down element works.